G'day guys and girls, and thank you for joining me for part two of this photography challenge, photographed from the XF 55 to 200 and Fujifilm's X-T3. Hopefully this morning we can finally capture that image we wanted from last week. Let's get into it and roll that intro. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for joining me for part two of this week's photography challenge with the XF 55 to 200 and the Fujifilm X-T3. I really hope you guys have got out and done your own photography challenge this week with one camera, one lens, and one kilometer in your local area. But before we get into all that, if you're new to this channel, I'm Matthew Storer, a travel and landscape photographer from Australia, traveling to least explored countries, showcasing the beauty and diversity of the world through my photography on this channel. So if you wanna see more of that, please drop below and subscribe for future content. But on last week's episode, we had a bit of a flop. It wasn't so good, but we learned so many things, which was what I wanted to go out for. It's not just about the photography all the time, it's learning your area, learn your camera, whatever it is. But hopefully today, conditions look absolutely beautiful already. So hopefully, hopefully, we're finally gonna get that image we wanted from last week here at sunrise. Let's get into it, it was an early one this morning. <sighs> Ah, uh, it's an early one this morning, but in fact, it's not even that early. Seven o'clock sunrises. I would love to have seven o'clock sunrises all year round. It'd be absolutely perfect. But in my mind, middle of February, I thought this would be covered in snow. A winter wonderland to walk around and capture those images that I love capturing during the winter time. But I'm putting that down to a bloody excuse that I cannot get out of my brain. It's hard to get up in the morning, but once I'm out here, I absolutely love it. Because in the comments below, let me know, are you struggling with your photography at the moment to get up, enjoy the process and just love it? Or if you're a counselor, help me. How do you help me get up in the morning and just love this photography process? Once I'm out here, I absolutely just remember why I love it. And that's what we're doing right now. We're out loving it. But last week's episode, I'm gonna put the image up right now. I had an issue with the dead space in the middle of the image. But once I edited that image, I was quite happy with that dead space and it didn't look so bad. But I think this was because I was getting those layers because of sunset. Obviously we flipped it completely around now because we learned last week that I'm not gonna get any sunset colors all year round. The gentleman right behind the camera said to me, if you want this image, you have to get it at sunrise. So here we are, back at 2B, stage 2B. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, jump up here and watch my six part series of how to capture the perfect photo. It's a great, behind the scenes on how much effort and work comes into getting just one photo. So stage 2A was last week, we failed, but we learned, which was the most important thing. But stage 2B is right now. Checking where the sun rises, how it affects the mountain, we get the alpine glow, everything that we need. So the perfect thing is, I had all my cameras set up because of last week, I knew exactly what to do. There's one little extra element that we can do as a 2C, which we can do in just a minute to pre-plan. It's a beautiful morning out here this morning, I'm already getting some beautiful sunrise colors and looks like we're gonna get some really beautiful sunrise colors also, but there is some way we can improve this by 10%. That dead space, we can make it green. Obviously we have to make it green later, so what we're gonna look at right now is how we can improve it by 10% with the app called Photo Pills. So just quickly on this Photo Pills, this could be part 2C. So we're already out here, and if it's the only time you can take these images, you know, one morning, this is it, take the image, get it in your bag, take it home, edit it, beautiful. But, you know, this is a photography challenge walking only one kilometer, so we should be able to come back and improve this. So my pro tip is, for the extra 10% of our image that we want to capture, 
is jump on Photo Pills. I'll link Photo Pills below because it's an app that I believe you must have as a landscape and nature photographer. So as you can see right now, I'm lining up geographically where I am to where Trigdove Mountain is, which is a mountain I'm photographing. And I can see end of March, April, May is the best time to photograph this for sunrise conditions. Now, obviously March, early April, I won't be here. I'll be in Scotland. It's gonna be an absolutely rip snort of a series. So please make sure you subscribe for that and do not miss a second of the Scotland series. But also in March, April, there could still be some snow around here if we ever get snow, but I guarantee you it won't be green yet. So therefore we're looking already at the end of April, early May to capture this image. So it gives me a four to six week window. But we have to also remember the sun will move around. And I know directly behind me, as you should in your local area, what is there. There's two and a half thousand meter mountains there. So this might intrude the image as far as getting that sunrise alpine glow that I want on the mountain. So these are all elements we have to take into consideration. So, you know, every two weeks, I can, I'm lucky I can look at my balcony at this sort of image to see if I'm getting that alpine glow I need. And obviously when you walk around, if the trees are getting leaves back on it. So that is a pro tip to just go that extra 10% to master that portfolio. I said to you last week, everyone asked me, how do you get a rich portfolio with all these beautiful images? This, I put a bloody effort in. It's cold out here, but you know, I want this image to be the best it possibly can. Another great thing is when the location is scanning last week, you can literally just come out early in the morning and everything's set up for you. You know exactly what to shoot, what lens, what camera, what focal range, everything. So same as last week, just under 135mm F8, single exposure. Last week, I was bracketing exposure because of I was shooting directly into the sun, well, almost directly into the sun, where here it's coming behind me and it's much, much better to the visual eye. So single, single exposure, Still using that aperture priority mode and locking the white balance down to daylight. Right now, it looks absolutely beautiful. I must admit, it's a glorious morning for sunrise photography. There's one little difference you'll notice last week to this week. There's no polarizer chucked on it. Any editor out there would know exactly what I'm about to say. But last week, Editing that image, I hated it. I edited it three times before. I just, you know, that's good enough, put it on YouTube. I wanna throw this in the rubbish bin because it's so frustrating. I got this green tinge through it that I just couldn't get out. Every time I tried to get it out, you know, it wouldn't enhance the reds as much or the oranges as much that I wanted. It was just a nightmare. I think I put that down to the polarizer. But also I was almost shooting you know, basically this angle, so the sun was setting and I was shooting this way with the polarizer because I was trying to cut through that glare. The reason I bring this up is because in the morning, the elements change completely. As I said, it's, it's come, the light's coming in directly from behind me now. So that haze that I wanted to try and get rid of from last week is completely gone. Okay, we don't get that afternoon haze. So in the mountains, I know my local area very well here. In the mountains, we get haze, especially in the afternoon. In the winter, it's not so bad, especially after fresh rain, but in the summer, it's completely, pretty much terrible in the valleys. So that's why, you know, I planned just before that I wanted to do, you know, end of May, even possibly June. So I have to remember, I'm gonna get that haze in the afternoon time. So definitely, 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 it's a sunrise location, but it just comes down to when the perfect window is to get that alpine glow, get rid of that haze, I can shoot it in a single exposure. So I put it down to a learning experience from last week also. You know, the editing was terrible, the photo was subpar. So you just basically admit defeat. It's not good enough, it's not what you want. So you work out when it is good enough or sometimes just sit down without a camera and it's just gonna be that good that way. But that's how, it, oh, I'm just starting to get some alpine glow. I was about to say, that's how it is in photography. So two second timer, shooting at 
ISO 400. The reason behind that is because I was out here earlier and I was shooting with a time blend because the village lights were on. I love time blend photography, but I don't want to change it back to ISO 160 because I'd moved some of the camera and I wanted that time blend. So that's why I'm just leaving it ISO 400 and it's not going to introduce that much noise. And we're shooting at 1 over 20 at F8. So two second timer. It's a glorious, glorious morning and a very actually good photo. Increasing that image by 10% with the green. I would be happy. It's early, but I'm very happy. Guys, here is this beautiful image from this morning and 10 times better than last week's image. ladies and gentlemen there we have that image finally finally got up out of bed to capture this bloody image i just hope this red colors in the sky that alpine glad i witnessed this morning kicks me out the bum recharges my energy and just makes me run around like an energy bunny capturing all these images that i've ever ever wanted but the great thing is the fun does not stop there the image i just captured this morning head over to my facebook page the link for that will be in the description below and you'll see this image in the comments, please comment your photo that you've captured from this week's photography challenge. Let me know what lens you use, what camera you use, and your local area. Because, could you just imagine if you could inspire just one person, not 10, just one person to come to your local area to take a photo? That would be pretty darn cool if you ask me. If I could inspire just one person to come to my hometown back in Australia to take a photo, I'd run and hug and kiss them so hard. It'd be an absolute honor of mine to witness that person come to that location just because of my photography. Dream come true. That's what this is all about, getting out in your local area, doing that photography challenge, learning your area, and hopefully inspiring just one person. But guys, you'll also find in the description below my workshops. Norway's selling out very quickly, so if you want to jump on that, please let me know ASAP. Scotland, Slovenia, all of your thing is so much more to come. Scotland is less than a month away. It's going to be an absolutely epic series. So do not, do not miss a second of that. So please subscribe. If you love this content, please like, subscribe, share. I appreciate every single one. But guys, I am done from this morning. I'm just proud of myself for getting up, making a fool of myself and being here with you guys once again. As I say, everything must come to an end, just like this vlog. But if there's one thing I can reassure you, I'll be back next week, bigger, better than ever. Ciao. Finally finishing off, damn that bell.